Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to connect up your Nintendo Switch Pro controller to your Linux machine so you can use it on the RPCS3 emulator which is a PlayStation 3 emulator. Okay, so I'm just going to move the mic a little bit closer. Uh, if it's a little hard here, I'm sorry, I'm got a bit of a sore throat. Okay, so what we need to first do, uh, let me show you the controller. So we're going to connect this via Bluetooth, that's the method that you want to use Bluetooth and just regular bluetooth will work you want to go to your bluetooth settings wherever that may be on you know depending on the linux distro and version that you are using then on here you see this button there that will put this in sync mode and these leds will start flashing so if i keep this pressed oh got it pressed about three seconds should be fine as you can see it's appeared here so click that pro controller it is now connected it's still flashing that's just a little caveat so that's just something you'll have to bear with and now on rpcs3 go to pads and make sure you've got ev dev open and it should automatically detect it click refresh if it doesn't and now if you look down here to the right you should see the analog stick recognition there we go and we can remap the controls if we really want to and we do need to because otherwise they are wrong so uh, just do it like so right analog stick up Okay, so that's strange. The analog sticks. Let's restore defaults. Um. Okay, so the analog sticks don't seem to be working very well. okay so the analog sticks are hit and miss so you got vibration here that does not work so what you need to do is map the other controls let me show you there we go and B and R1 and start will do as the plus button the minus See if any of the other buttons are available for PS button. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Up. Left, right, and down. And now. Okay, there we go. And gonna do okay yeah so the analog sticks as you can see they aren't properly being detected if we just click save if we go back they are a problem we've had this problem before so that's just something honestly it's not much you can really do to be fair so what i would generally say is try and play a game that doesn't require the analog stick and or map something else onto it so this is the little caveat of using this controller it is hit or miss with it but once you're done click save and you are actually all good to go but again i just wanted to show you how to do it it's not you know i would say 100 percent supported yet but if you really have a you know, burning desire to use a switch pro controller this is how you would go about it and i'm sure support will you know become better in the future and when that time comes you know this video will still be applicable so that is it thanks for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video